cleaning of food we all consume food and definitely before consumption we need to separate out the types of food that we want to consume so there are four simple methods that we would understand today these are also the techniques under the separation of mixture so threshing winnowing hand picking and sieving as simple as that now let's understand the very first method i have four different items with me in the hand now two of them are lemons two of them are plums i mix all of them so probably this is the mixture or the combination that you can see so in one hand i have a lemon and a plum and in the other hand also i have a lemon and a plum now when i'm hand picking definitely if i want to have a lemon water today what i need to do is separate out the lemons from the plums so i would remove all the plums and i would have only the lemons with me and this is what we call as a very simple method that we have done right now and this is hand picking now in hand picking we usually separate two similar items now it can be lemon plum it can be lemon orange small oranges probably apples or pomegranates but when do we commonly use it we commonly use it in our day to day life let's say you went to a shop you bought certain pulses with you within the pulses there were some stones so next round that you are cooking you need to separate the pulses from the stones and this can be done by picking through hand so this is a very simple method of hand picking moving on next we have another different method but for this you probably cannot have a visit in the real world you need to be in your countryside area cannot be at your home probably if you are watching one of the videos you can get an insight to it but yes if you are in the countryside area you are in one of the agricultural belts you would see this as a common phenomena and this occurs as threshing so when the grains are separated from the stalks this process is known as threshing and this is usually done during the months where harvesting is done now the harvesting season is again separate for each of the crops so you would see probably uh, the threshing methods that are commonly seen in the countryside regions or the agricultural belts so this was the second method coming on next we have another important method and this method is a method that we can probably try here so let's have a quick uh, example to try it now i have certain peanuts with me and with these peanuts i am trying to uh, separate these are roasted peanuts so i am trying to separate their covers probably now as you can see we have just mashed those and what we can see is the cover of the peanut being separated from the peanuts so what we can do is i can simply bring them together and probably so as you can see most of the peanuts covers are are separated from it so heavy items are separated from light items and this method is known as winnowing so when the grains are collected and the uh, grains Uh, or the husk and the shaft as we call it can be separated we call this method as winnowing so the simple principle is the heavier items would remain back uh, and the lighter items would flow to a distant so when you are just doing it with a bigger broad uh, equipment we could say for winnowing what would happen the heavier grains would fall exactly below you as you can see in the diagram here and the lighter ones would fa fall apart or a little away from the heavier ones and this way you can separate both of those so this is what is known as winnowing the next method that we understand is again a very simple experiment and this experiment is what is known as sieving so what we have here for you is again a simple demonstration so we have a sieving uh, a plate where we could have the things separated i have certain beans here and certain mustard seeds here so what i do if you can visualize here i'll just hold it up i pour the bigger seeds nothing came down but what would happen when i have the smaller seeds 
you would see all the smaller seeds have come down and this demonstrates that we can separate larger items from smaller items just because there is this net and this is through the help of this net we can understand the process of sieving so this is again a very important method of separating grains the bigger components are retained back however the smaller components just move down and with this process we understand what is sieving usually at the construction construction sites you have seen people separating the sand and the bigger and the smaller sand the finer sand can be separated by this method of sieving so not just in the agriculture or in your food industry you see sieving as one of the methods but this is commonly visualized even at the construction sites so uh, this was a broad difference between sieving winnowing threshing and hand picking